Hey there viewers and welcome back to Planet Cryos. I have an MSI gaming motherboard that requires a BIOS and it's a few BIOSes out of date so we're going to go ahead and show you step by step on a MSI motherboard on how to update its BIOS. So stick around. All right, so what I have is an X570. It's actually an MPG X570 Edge Gaming Wi-Fi motherboard. And I have my little BIOS uh, thumb drive here. We have the new thumb, new uh, uh, BIOS on here, and I'm going to show you step by step. This is uh, your first step is to get it on here, and while I'm talking about this, I will show um, exactly how to get it on here. So basically, you just go to the website, download the correct BIOS for your correct motherboard, and make sure that's right. It's actually getting a lot harder to put the incorrect BIOS on it. But what you want to do is go to the website, download the correct BIOS, and then uh, put it on a flash drive of your choice. Usually a smaller flash drive, the better, under 32 gigabytes. And then make sure it's formatted into F or uh, FAT32. And then you can go ahead and stick it in your PC and start your PC and get into the BIOS. So that's what I'm going to show you right now. Let's get going. All right, what you're going to do is just select a USB port that's in the rear. It can be a 2.0 port. Uh, that is perfectly fine for a BIOS update. All right, now we're going to go ahead and start the PC. And on this particular board, we're going to hit the delete key repeatedly to get into the BIOS. And you'll see that in just a moment. All right, here we are in the BIOS section. And you can see down here in the corner, as long as you're in the easy mode, you can click on the M flash. And it's going to auto reboot into the M flash mode. This is, MSI does this, I don't know why. It's kind of funny. But just be patient. It is going to reboot, and we're going to see uh, where we can update the BIOS. And here we go. So we have my uh, USB flash drive, and we have the current file that we want right here. See the mouse kind of disappears? I don't know why it does that. So are you sure that you want to select this? And yes we do. And right here you can see a progress bar down at the bottom. We do not want to turn the PC off. You do not want to restart it. You don't want to add any USBs. You don't want to click around on anything. Just let it go. It will update. And then we'll make sure that it's updated to the latest BIOS after this. All right, here we go. The BIOS is finished updating, but it's going to reboot uh, a few times. This is the way it works but I wanted to show you in live time it finishing the BIOS update to the reboot process and what it takes for all that and we should be getting right back to Windows here and there we go we are done with the update but we're gonna go back into the BIOS I'm gonna show you that it did update to the version that we wanted it. All right, right now we're going back into the BIOS. All right, I'm going to zoom in right here. And we can see that the BIOS has been updated. Now this is advanced settings. So this is the easy mode. It doesn't really matter. So there's your new version. There's the BIOS update date. So we are up to date now. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this video. I hope you learned something on an MSI uh, BIOS update and how to do it. Uh, all motherboards are not the same. They're failure... Fail... Yeah.
failure. No. F failure. I can't even say it. All right, guys, so this is going to do it for this video. I hope you learned something on how to update an MSI BIOS. I do have other ones for uh, Asus and uh, Gigabyte. So uh, this was just a little more unique. It's a little different every um, BIOS update on different, or every manufacturer, I should say, is a little different process how to get to them and and whatnot. So on this one, it reboots uh, before you can update the BIOS. Uh, it's just a little different, but in the end, it's kind of all the same and requires you to be patient during uh, those times anyway. So uh, that's going to do it for me. And um, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments down below uh, in the comment section, obviously. Um, also, uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and share with your friends and family. Until next time, guys, take care.